Okay, let's try this. Uh, my Edge Impulse site has a folder called OV7670 camera. Inside there, there are some def defaults. There's processes that goes in the processes. So if I copy that, click raw, I can grab that and put that in the processes program. Uh, there should be a download for that somewhere. Um, the only thing different than the standard processes program is the port and I'm on Linux, so I'm using TTY ACMO, hopefully. Um, and then on your Arduino, this is the Nano 33 BLE with the OV76 camera right there. Got some cool 3D printing stuff around it. Um, okay, so back here, uh, this is the file uh, rawbytes.ino that I would load onto the camera, um, which is exactly the same as if you went to examples and you'd installed the Arduino OV767X, not zero. Uh, it would be the raw, the camera uh, capture raw bytes. In the extra is the visualizer that goes in the processes. Anyway, let's just check that we're, we're Nano, Nano 33 BLE. There's the uh, right uh, port. Let's send that over. Uh, it is flashing, although there's so many wires. These 14 wires are a pain. Um, there are 16 spots, but you don't actually have to connect two of them. Uh, it's on Linux, so we're going pretty quick. Uh, it's, we don't have to check the port. What we do have to do is go here and hit play. By the way, hit stop this way. Don't close the window. And let's see what we have. It takes a bit for the, the color to get, um, or the brightness to get figured out. But if I put this here, uh, got to hold it still. I, it's got pretty good resolution. My camera's on its side, but that's kind of irrelevant. Um, same kind of thing with my 3D printed armor. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so next part. Now remember, stop it that way. Uh, you can save these processes sketches. That's to prove it works. The next step is to, um, on my site, I have two things here. I have my um, detect. This is the edge impulse um, model impulse. And you download it directly off edge impulse. Uh, this is what we're going to load on the uh, camera. And uh, things aren't perfect here, but we're just trying to get these going. By the way, in my case, I think I just switched these two, the O and the one. Um, when my uh, colors seemed really off, and so the cabling, those switched. I have a diagram somewhere on this site that should show how to hook these things up. Anyway, here's the Edge Impulse program. It actually crops the smaller uh, version to 48 by 48, which is defined on the Edge Impulse. Anyway, let's uh, see, let's get this thing back into um, DFU mode. I just check my ports right. So let's fire that on. Um, and I'm not really going through the code. There are the defines of the connections. Those are connections too. As I said, there is an image somewhere. This is going pretty quick. Now, this model is not the best model. Uh, it's supposed to detect, it's, the concept was that a microcontroller is detecting itself. Anyway, that's assuming yours is gonna be way slower, especially if you're on Windows. By the way, Processes has issues on Windows. That's why I'm using Linux. I don't normally make my recordings this way. Um, expect this compile time to be a long time. Uh, also on Windows, Edge Impulse is, has an extra little step on my site. I've described it um, in the Windows, Windows Arduino uh, folder. There's an extra file you got to ins 
uh, not install, you just got to put it in the right place. Um, by the way, I do have somewhere an image of the setup. Uh, it's probably in my backups or I'll put it on the main thing uh, showing the, the connections. Anyway, it looks like that got installed. Um, what am I wanting to do? Now this is on the monitor now. And as I said, it's not the world's greatest uh, um, impulse I've made. I should actually bring my paintbrush one uh, at the moment. The big deal here is it's actually running and doing something. Uh, I'm not really happy about those, my controller numbers being the same. Let's see. So, no, these numbers. Now, a problem is actually finding the right spot, and I have uh, a serial program for that. I'm just trying to prove that these things are actually compiling and generally how to do it. Uh, that's it for today. Ah! Did not mean to do that. Let's stop.